the smell of seashells, the taste of a sunset, the dance of a unicorn on a starry summer's night, dreaming the dreams you can only reach in the wake of a blue moon. I like that commercial. The music, the lights, the imagery. That woman? Really? Forbidden fantasy so close you can feel it. Capri. French designer Michel Capri's spring lingerie collection will be launched next week in New York. There she is again. Coinciding with the release of his new fragrance, Capri. My collection is playful, sexy. I wanted it to be fun. Oh my God. about your What do you call it? The Big Apple. Pardon? Thanks for flying with us today. New York City. They call it here The Big Apple. The Big Apple. Uh, people used to say that there are a lot of apples on the tree of success. But if you pick New York, you pick The Big Apple. So it doesn't have anything to do with actual fruit. I wonder what banning would have to do with the world of high fashion. Who knows? Maybe he's looking for a new suit. Unlike us, he has a social life. I keep thinking about that Michelle Coupri commercial. There's just something about it that I... I really like. <laughs> I noticed. I'd buy whatever she's selling. That would be sex. Procreation needs advertising? Hardly. <laughs> Most of the time, people have sex because they enjoy it. Not to make babies. Isn't that the way it is where you're from? I don't remember pleasure being associated with the concept of sex. Probably better off not remembering. Sex is a powerful drive. It's usually more trouble than it's worth. That commercial was selling something dangerous? It was using sexual stimulation to sell a product. Perfume being the product. Perfume. It's a fluid with a fragrant, pleasing odor. People wear it to be more alluring to each other. Are you wearing perfume? Pretty good to me. Michelle said you wanted to see me. work for you. There's a reception in two days. I need you to attend. What for? Secretary of State Norman Underhill will be there. You will convince him to reconsider his vote on the FDA Growth Hormone Committee. 
And what's in it for me if I help him reconsider? The knowledge that you've helped the cause. And your usual fee, of course. I'm sure your profit will be much higher. How I will profit from Underhill's vote is beyond your understanding. If you're not willing to participate in the action required, I'm sure Michelle will supply me with someone who is. David, did I say I wasn't willing? Never. I trust you, Claire, as I trust in the ability of our secret weapon. Yes, I never leave home without it. I will see you at the reception. Don't even try. Just do what you're paid to do, Claire. I enjoyed watching your commercial. Thank you. Mr. Capri, I wonder if you had a moment I'd like to ask you about a mutual friend, David Banning. Do you think he'll be here tonight? I'm afraid I know no one of that name. Do you know David? Excuse me? You know, it's funny. We saw the two of you at the pre-launch party and I thought... Don't know the man. Now you will excuse me if I've got people to talk to. Claire, there's someone I want you to meet. Well, let's take a look while we're here. Maybe we'll get lucky. Don't even think about it, Claire. Of course not. Uh, excuse me, I need to freshen up. Claire? Now don't pretend you don't know me. Don't walk away from me, Claire! Nathaniel. Talk to me! Let go of me! Let her go!
When people are interested in other people, they send out signals. Body language, tone of voice, the way they look at you. Nathaniel, that woman was full on flirting. Well, show me. What? Show me flirting so that I'll recognize it. There are a couple of things to look for. First, the woman will usually get as close as she can. Okay. And from there, it's all about lingering. A look that lasts a beat too long. A touch that turns into a caress. It's about closeness. Intimacy. You flirt very well. Thank you. Thanks. I was thinking, we know that Michelle and Claire know more about banning than they're telling us. If this Claire has a thing for you, maybe we could use her interest to get her to open up a bit. You want me to pretend to be interested in her so that we can get information? It's not that big of a stretch. Claire is important to both of us. We can't risk her being harmed. I've hired extra security for every public appearance. Are you certain it isn't someone who has knowledge of our business? Claire is discreet. That's why we chose her. One can only hope. We need to find that man. I assure you, I will find him. For Claire. It should be sufficient to cover her through our business tomorrow night. Christine? Yes? I'll need Mr. Dent. So glad you called. I never got a chance to thank you properly. You're welcome. I'm Laura. Glad to see you're okay. Thank you. Please, come in. Do you have any idea who your attacker is? Was he an ex-boyfriend or...? No, I have no idea who he was. Oh. From what he was saying, I just assumed... People see your picture and they think they know you. Were you able to find the man you were after last night? Um, Benning? Benning. No, we were hoping that you might be able to help us find him. What makes you think I know him? We saw one of Michelle's shows on television. You were talking to him. Well, I talked to many people at an opening. I know the names of very few. Why are you looking for him? Uh, he and Nathaniel related. Nathaniel hasn't seen him in a while. Just wanted to look him up again. That's right. Oh, I'm sorry. I wish I could help you. If you'll excuse me, I'll be right back. She's not telling the truth. Neither is Capri. 
If you're involved with David Banning, you've got a million reasons to lie about it. Nathaniel, I'd like you to be one of the first people in the world to experience Michelle's new perfume. How? Oh, it's easy. All you have to do is breathe deeply. You know how to do that, don't you? intoxicating, isn't it? Michelle thinks it's his best yet. Nice. Hey, Daniel, we've got to get going. Oh, that's too bad. I feel safer with you here. I'll ask around about your friend Banning. Perhaps uh, someone else in Michelle's organization invited him. You know, I'd um, love to see you again, Benny. Yes, I'd like that too. Well, how about dinner tonight? Are you free? Yes, I think so. Eight o'clock, okay? Be careful. You don't want to overwater those. Or do you? Did you find out who attacked Claire? Dr. William Pace. Pace. Well, wonders never cease. You barely touched your food. You're not hungry? Oh, I'm always hungry. I just can't indulge. It's all about image, you know. That's what Laura says. Really? Tell me about Laura. Is she your girlfriend? We work together. Mm. Really no romance? I can't imagine a woman not being attracted to you. <sighs> we flirted once. Can I trust you, Nathaniel? Yes. I'm in trouble. I've done something that I can't get out of. What is it? I do know David Banning quite well. The trouble you're in concerns Banning? He's a dangerous man. You have to help me, Nathaniel. Michelle, you remember Nathaniel? I'm sorry you rushed away last night. I didn't get time to thank you. Glad I could help. Nathaniel, Michelle and I have some business to discuss. I'm going to have to say goodnight now. Oh. Um, okay. Uh, excuse me, what? I will need to speak to you some more privately. I'll pick you up tomorrow. Okay.
Thank you. No, I meant mine. You're playing with fire, Claire. I'll wear gloves. Hi. Hi. Find out anything? She knows him. She's in trouble in some way, and uh, oh, she couldn't talk. We were interrupted. I found out something myself. Caprice fragrance was developed at Garum Laboratories, which is owned by guess who? David Banning. The lab's here in New York. I thought we could check it out tomorrow. I'm going to see Claire tomorrow. I'm going to help her. What does she need us to do? Just me. She's more open when we're alone. Mm. Oh, but she is. I think I'm afraid she's got you all spun out. You're losing focus. We're here to work. Laura, I know why we're here. uses me to manipulate people. Men. By seducing them. Businessmen. Politicians. Why do you do it? I've done some things I'm not exactly proud of. If I don't do what Banning wants, he'll make those things public knowledge. It would destroy my family. My career would be ruined. One time he said he'd kill me. Yeah, I thought it 
Pace? Yes. I have a message for you from Miss Claire Lloyd. Really? Tell me, what do you really know about Banning? That he wants to reshape the world to his ideals. Well, that doesn't sound so bad. Well, his ideals would destroy the world as you know it. Nathaniel, how do you know all of this? Claire, I'd like to tell you more, but I can't yet. You don't trust me. Is it because of Laura? Uh, it's not that I don't trust you. It's more you might not believe me. You'd be surprised what I believe. Do you like this? Mm-hmm. Nathaniel, I have to get away from Banning. He wants me to do something that I don't want to do. You help me get to Banning, and I'll make sure he never hurts you again. We have to make sure he can never hurt anyone. Garmin Laboratories. I'm a scientist, not a stalker. Please believe that. I've been developing an alternative version of the Capri fragrance. Before. For David Banning. Its base is recombinant pheromone. The hormones responsible for transmitting sexual signals. They control attraction. Right. These pheromones are very specific. They mix with the body chemistry of the wearer and form a permanent bond to anyone who inhales it within a few seconds of application. It's, it's irresistible. What does Banning want it for? If I were to guess, I'd have to say manipulation. Wearing that perfume, a woman could make any man do whatever she wants. So I've seen. That still doesn't explain your behavior. I was testing the perfume out on Claire. 
and got the concentrations too high and inhaled it. What started out as a simple attraction became an obsession. The more I was around her, the worse it became. So she knows you? Yes. But she wouldn't report me. That would jeopardize banning. And Claire knows better than that. Listen to me. There's some people I'm going to put you in touch with to help you disappear. Disappear? Banning knows about you now. You can't go back. Laura, it's me. Nathaniel, thank God, listen. No, Laura, you have to listen. I know where Banning will be. I'll stop him. Nathaniel, you can't trust Claire. She works for Banning. He's forcing her. You can't know that for sure. Banning will be at a reception at the Royal Meridian Hotel. I'll take him there. What do you mean, take him? It's the perfume. It's... It'll be wonderful, Nathaniel. There's only one thing to do first. Please, Claire. Ready? <laughs> Senator Underhill, I'd like to introduce a good friend of mine, Claire Lloyd. Perhaps you've seen her ads for Coupli. Yes, yes, of course. She has told me a lot about you. How do you do, Senator? I've heard a lot about you, too. Oh. Now, you must tell me what life's like in the halls of power. Sure. Quite a view, isn't it? Yes, yeah, quite a view. So David tells me you do quite a bit of committee work. It's a boring way to spend a career locked in a little room haggling over decisions that the general public, first of all, doesn't understand, and secondly, doesn't give a damn about. Oh, I don't know. I think you're wrong. Those are the issues that change people's lives. Especially in the medical issue. I understand you're studying a new growth hormone. Haltex and Haltex Corporation doesn't stand a chance. The test results are full of holes. Could have been written by the public relations department. Well, who knows? Sometimes test results don't tell you everything you need to know. Sometimes you just have to follow your. Be 
many lucrative opportunities for a congressman who can see the future clearly, William. I'll put you in touch with my people. Excuse me. I trust you've met with success. Yes, he'll change his vote in tomorrow's session. Excellent. I need to speak to you. Privately. Of course. I'm changing the arrangement, David. And how shall we change it? Shall you give the orders and I follow them? I want more of the perfume. As much as I need. I also want a share of what you're really doing. You couldn't conceive of what I'm really doing. There's nothing there for you. I also won't tolerate the condescension anymore. Something's different, Claire. The avarice is the same, but there's a confidence I haven't seen before. You're up to something, aren't you? Nathaniel! Bravo, Claire. You've used my own creation to capture the only one who could harm me. You're either far more intelligent than I gave you credit for, or far more fortunate. For the moment, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Now give me the perfume. Don't be absurd. Do it, Nathaniel. So strong, yet so vulnerable. Are you ready to kill me, Nathaniel? Is that what you really want to do? Nathaniel! What are you doing? You shouldn't be here. I found out what Banning's doing with Capri and her. There's a special version of the perfume. It's highly concentrated with hormones that have an effect on people's emotions. She used it on you. Don't listen to her. You don't want to rattle me now. I might just let her slip. <clears throat> I'll come with you. I'll do what Benning wants. You just don't know how to play the game, do you? Oh. He'll do what he wants anyway. <laughs> Is that the best you can do? Not quite. I'm sorry. It wasn't your fault. What you did to me, I... I felt... I know. Our people are still looking for pace, and Claire Lloyd is taken care of. Thank you. Mr. Dent, have you ever wished to experience love? I don't wish for things, of course, but if you did, would love be one of them? No. Why would that be? Please, indulge me. The way I see it. Love is nothing more than awkward fumbling in the back seats of cars, graduating into hmm, fights over home decor and the occasional greasy meal over at Big Jack's family restaurant. Then one person dies before the other. It's pointless. Of course, I'm not human. Hmm. All the better. Perspective. Well spoken, Mr. Dent. That will be all.
Christine. Yes, sir. Come see me, please. Laura, have you ever been in love? Yeah. What happened? I don't know. Sometimes we fall in love with the wrong people. Let's just say it didn't work out. How do you know when it's the right person? I don't know. I may be the wrong person to ask. All-new Stargate SG-1. What kind of work was being done here, Doctor? The girl's a human gold hybrid. I want to help you. Drop the gun. Stargate SG-1, a sci-fi channel original series. All-new next. premiere on the all-new Sci-Fi Thursday, this Thursday at 10. Oh, God! I have absolutely no idea what's going on. Are you tripping yet? Is this great TV or what? Tripping the Rift, an all-new original series, premieres on the all-new Sci-Fi Thursday, premieres at 10.30. All new next. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! All new season. All new scares. You scared the crap out of me. Scare tactics. New episodes premiere on the all new Sci Fi Thursday, this Thursday at 10. Absolutely no idea what's going on. Are you tripping yet? Is this great TV or what? Tripping the Rift, an all-new original series, premieres on the all-new Sci-Fi Thursday. Premieres at 10.30.